On June 13th of uh, this year, um, the Powerball was uh, won by uh, the Shipping 20, and I'm one of those guys. Well, my name is Kelly Mulford. Uh, I've worked at Quaker Oats for 36 years. I have been a giver to United Way for most of the 36 years I've been at Quaker. I had an overdraft notice in my mailbox on the 14th of June because I didn't have the money in the right bank account, but it was still I didn't have enough money in my checking account. You know, those things keep going on and on in my mind. But as I look back and realized how uh, really short a time it's been since we won, um, we got things set up. We were able to take deep breaths and see what can we actually do to make a difference. So we got the right people involved and we took deep breaths and we realized this is the year for us to be able to give back and with the help of our financial advisors and uh, other people that uh, were guiding us the right way, uh, we felt the way to go forward was to give a, a gift that would give on for forever. And so Annie and I set up a, uh, a fund that will uh, give back to the United Way. We set it up with a, uh, a gift of $75,000 to the Greater Cedar Rapids Foundation. The number 75000 isn't uh, what's important. It was the fact that it was giving back to the community for a, a long period of time. The neat thing too for me is the money stays in the community. I mean, it's it's here. It's it's our friends, our family, uh, the people that we work with. Uh, after the, the flood, a lot of our uh, employees that, uh, and, and members of our union were affected by that flood. A lot of those folks got help through United Way agencies. We all have our own uh, choices, and I think it's important that, you know, I came forward and said, hey, uh, one of the choices we can make is to give back uh, to our community through United Way. Once you see what the, uh, your dollars do for the community, it's, it's really, uh, it's a no-brainer. I was a loan executive uh, in the years uh, 98 and 99. Um, when I started uh, the first uh, day on the job. Uh, the first day I walked in there, it was just a blast. Um, I, re I realized right then and there that there was something special about United Way. I knew the funds stayed here. I knew the funds were very well managed. And uh, when they check out an agency, they, they don't just you know sugarcoat it. They check out an agency and make sure that money's doing what it's supposed to do. And, you know, I'm finding out more and more every day about United Way and as you grow up you, and you see the, the, the benefits it's done uh, for your family and your friends, uh, you know it's doing it for everybody in the, in the community. And it doesn't matter what your income level is, uh, you at some point may need a United Way agency. My gift back to the community this year is, is a unique thing. Uh, what I was doing 36 years prior was giving a, an hour of my wages a month. If you multiply that by uh, 800 employees and an hour times, you know, whatever you make an hour, $14 an hour, $25 an hour, $10 an hour, whatever it is a month, uh, it really makes a difference. Um, it, it's not about big money, it's about the pooling of all the monies and then and, and how it's distributed to the community. Yeah, you don't have to be a millionaire to, to make a difference. Uh, a $10 gift a month, uh, a one-time gift, is, is welcome. I like the United Way. I have, uh, uh, it's in my heart, and I hope it uh, is a part of your heart, too. I'm sort of an Alaska nut, so some dollars will go up to Alaska for the Iditarod. And uh, then Annie uh, lost her husband to uh, a very rare lung disease. And so we've uh, set up funds to go to uh, the American Lung Association up in Minnesota. Um, and then other, obviously, the church. So those are the things we're giving to. Now, we went out and bought a new car, and we had fun doing that. Um, to, a new to us car, it's a, it's a used car, so, um, but a neat one. And then uh, we're, uh, still funding a, a college student and uh, helping the family do what we want to do. Uh, and we're newly married 
a newly married couple, so there's a lot of things that we're doing, so fun stuff. My dream is still uh, to go up to Alaska as often as I can, but I'm getting closer because Annie's from Minnesota, and I'm going to go get a boat, and uh, we're going to go out and fish on the lakes, and, and um, you know, we're going to retire, and, and Annie's into the, the health kick, so um, I'm going to have to get into that too, so we can live long, healthy lives and, and enjoy our grandchildren and our kids and, and, um, and the gifts that God has given us. The lottery was the secondary thing. The first uh, uh, thing I won was the love of my life and somebody that is going to be in my life for the rest of my life. And uh, that's my big win. Uh, meeting Annie on the first day of January uh, 2011, 1-1-1-1, uh, I was the winner there.